Welcome to One, Two, Three, Draw with Miss Mumsy, Cartoon Secret. Good day. Follow with me. Let's do some drawing. One, two, three, draw cartoon sea creatures. This is going to be the first in the installment. Get your own book. That'll be good. Stephen Barr did this one, not me. And there's a whole bunch of good stuff in the beginning of the book with shapes and lines and how to's and such like that. Go ahead, grab your sketchbook. Okay, I'm going to start a new sketchbook just for this and turn to page one in the sketchbook and open it up right next to here so you can see what the book says and we're going to do a drawing of it and so that you can follow with me and see it in action as well as on the page. Okay, all right. Here we go. The first thing it says, let's begin. We're going to use some basic shapes. We're using an oval and then we're going to be using a fin shape, which if you look at the other, the shapes, which happen to be on the other side of this page right over here, it shows you some of the basic shapes. And so he's starting with some basic shapes. Sketch an oval for the body. All right, so let's do that. Want to stay in pretty much the center of your page. And notice as I'm sketching it, I'm not just going one time around, but I'm going a couple of times around until I get just the shape I want. Can you see my shape? Probably not too well because of the sketch. So I'm going to do it a little bit darker, the one that I like the best of all of my sketched tries. Can you see that one? I hope you can. Yes, you can. All right, now it says, Draw a sharp wave shape on each side for fins. If you look at the book, they're not symmetrical. They are not exactly identical. So we don't have to worry about that part. So let's start from oh, right about here. Go up and come down into a shape. Mine is a little higher than his. It's okay. All right, so here we're going to go in a round and then back. This one's not as thick. I don't like that. So I'm going to do another line to do it a little thicker. Remember, this is our sketch. We're going to erase all of these lines later. I'm doing mine a little darker than what you probably should because, yes, I want you to try and see them. The next thing you know, need to do is draw two curved lines to begin the tail. Okay, so here we go. From the middle of the uh, top of the oval, you're going to do a curved line this way, and then next to it, just a little bit, you'll come down, and they're going to end up a little bit further away. It's not parallel, it's a little further away. All right, add a valentine shape to the end of the tail tip. I would call it a heart, that's okay. As first of all, I'm going to put a dot back here, and then I'm going to do a J and come right up to it. And that's how I'm going to get my Valentine shape. This one here I'm going to do again, but I'm going to do it backwards. And there is my J. Now he has his connected. We can connect them. That works out perfect. All right. Number three, sketch a curved line for the mouth. All right. Mouth goes here. We're going to have a nice smile on this manta ray. All right, so a nice curved smile. This goes down a little bit. Just do it the best you can. What looks nice to you? Then he says, draw ovals for the eyes. Two little ones, and they need to be right above the mouth. We don't want them up here on the top. We want them down here. Otherwise, it's going to give this manta ray, and if they're up too high, it's going to look like something different. That's what we say, something different. Now we're going to... It says darken part of each eye. The easiest way to do this is to do an oval inside of each eye close to the edge and then darken that in that you're outside of the oval. All right, that will get you the exact thing that he's looking for. And then we're done. 
look at the final drawing. So before that we go and do any erasing, we're going to do it in black. He's got his in black here. We're going to do ours in black. Notice that he doesn't come to a complete oval here. He leaves a little bit of space. It's a good artistic um, move to help us get some depth to our, got to look with both eyes over here, our manta ray. Okay, so we're going to go over the fins just like I did before. So you're getting this two times now. You go from the top down, works a little better for me. And then we're going to do our J's. We got a nice smiley face. Another oval inside, filling that all in. An overall inside. Oops, I didn't do the outside. Fill it all in. Manta ray done. Yay. Now he says erase the extra lines. Okay, so we got the dark lines in there. So the next thing we do is erase the lines. I like to use these white erasers. They erase so much cleaner. This one's not staying on my pencil real well. But it erases so much cleaner than a pink one or a different color one. Those are fun but they sort of end up smudging if you're not careful. And after I got all of these lines off to my satisfaction for right now, well, these were dark, I'm trying to, I look at those eyes and I say, well, can we get them looking a little bit more the same? So I'm gonna make this pupil a little smaller and give this one a little bit more round and then a little round, more round there. So now I'm happier with those eyes. So he has his colored orange, we're going to color ours orange too. Go ahead, color it whatever you want to. But one of the things that I'm, I'm using marker, you can use, and this marker is sort of fading on me, but maybe it'll pick up a little steam before we're done. But marker, crayon, color pencil, whatever you're going to use to color it in. If you go the same direction, follow the, the big word contour or the angle of the lines, it will help give him or her a shape. If you go in any direction whatsoever, it's going to end up looking a little like uh, it doesn't get ha it doesn't give you the shape of the thing that you're doing. And it'll give you some con uh, some texture to it too. And so that's a good thing. So here we go, trying to go real, real quick on this so that you can see the final, final, final drawing of our Manta Ray. And I hope that you tried it with me or are going to try it in just a minute because it's not very difficult. Basic shape is an oval and two shark type fins. We used a J for the heart. That helped us get a valentine shape as he calls it but it helped us get it a little bit more symmetrical and ovals for the eyes all right i think you can do it yes you can enjoy see you next time